Hi, good morning. How are you guys doing? So, this morning, let's talk about people that want to travel without visa to their various destinations. Uh, okay, I've seen those posts on Facebook and I've come in contact with clients that tell me that maybe when i'm applying visa for them they will tell me that their pastor tell them that told them that the visa has been approved already they should bring some amount of money to sow seed to christ i am a christian a devoted one for that matter uh -huh. so i'm not saying this to, i'm not saying this thing to to castigate christianity or insult any pastor but i want to tell you the reality okay I'm, i want to tell you the truth there is no way in this entire life you can travel to any country without visa except countries that doesn't require um visa maybe those countries that has um maybe free visa to nigerians and as how these small countries but if you want to travel to america the usa canada us that is uk australia brazil all these countries even most small countries like vietnam you need visa okay all these all these pastors that are telling you that you don't need visa to travel you have faith let me tell you it's a lie them too when they are traveling they, they go by air and they also apply for visa without visa they cannot travel so why are you so dumb okay a pastor is telling you that the visa is approved eh let me tell you something eh? if you don't have good documentation your visa will be denied if you like pray from now to tomorrow miracle happen i know miracles will happen but not in this scenario you can only pray to god when you have document and your your agent or you yourself you apply for this this visa yourself in a very good way the way it's supposed to be good documentation and you follow the rules you can't just do your manama work and he tell me that uh, that God will do the rest. Which God? Which God? I don't understand. Like there is this story that I had. A pastor said in the church. Let me tell you guys the story. I don't want to mention the name of the church or the pastor, but let me tell you guys the story. So this guy went to the church, and the pastor told the pastor he wants to travel, and the pastor told him that don't worry, you will travel. Then he went to the airport without anything. And he called the pastor that, ah, pastor did not allow me to board or did not check me in. The pastor told him to go to the bedroom of, of, um, of the airport. He went to the bedroom of the airport. The pastor asked him to close his eyes. Then he prayed with him. And when he opened his eyes, he saw himself in the toilet of the country he wants to go. Like that is yankee us i don't understand like he closed his eyes in a Nigerian toilet and opened it and saw himself in usa toilet that is bullshit if you believe this thing there that means you don't have sense like if, if, if you believe this story like this you don't have sense ah even that pastor self we apply for visa before going to us how will disappear is it that easy if it's easy all of us for disappear go us now ah I don't understand. <laughs> hey, God. And some of you are celebrating this testimony. Telling everybody. Ah, it's funny. I have a woman that um last last year. Yeah. Yes now. Nah, or last two years. When I was doing visa. Um Kazakhstan visa. That time they have already banned Nigerians from entering Kazakhstan. As a, they have stopped issuing visa to Nigerians for Kazakhstan. And this woman told me that the pastor told her that the visa has been approved. She should bring, she should sow a seed. I told her, don't sow any seed though. The visa have not, the visa is not approved though. If you, if you like waste your money, you understand? All these pastors, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not saying they are bad though. You still have good ones. So my point here is that you cannot travel to any country without a visa. You need visa. So it's not everything that you would believe, okay? Always do your due diligence, okay? Have a nice time. Bye-bye.